Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'd like to show you how to fix a receptacle that has reverse polarity. To find out if your receptacle has reverse polarity, plug in an outlet tester such as this one and look at the index on the tester. On this particular outlet tester, the index shows us that if there's a green light on the left and a red light in the middle and an open light on the right, then we have reverse polarity. What this means is that the hot and the neutral are reversed on the receptacle. Here is a polarized plug, just a common household polarized plug. This prong is wider than this prong. This smaller prong is designed to go into the hot slot, that's the smaller slot. The larger prong is designed to go into the neutral slot. Since this receptacle has reverse polarity, it's going to give us a shock hazard and your appliances may not last as long. To give you a really common example, let's examine this light socket. The tab on the bottom of the light socket is supposed to be the hot terminal. And the side of the light socket where you screw the bulb in is supposed to be your neutral terminal. Now, if you plug your polarized plug into a reverse polarity receptacle, all of a sudden, the tab on the socket is now your neutral terminal, and the side where you screw the light bulb in is now your hot terminal, and this increases the chance of shock. The light will still go on, but now there is increased danger for the users. In particular, appliances that have circuit boards may not last as long if plugged into reversed polarity outlets. Before we get started, I'm going to test my voltage detector. And this is an interesting situation because this is a reverse polarity outlet. Normally, you would push your uh, voltage detector into the hot positive side of the receptacle. But since this is a reverse polarity receptacle, you actually plug it into the neutral and you see the buzzer goes and the light goes off. And that's another way to tell that this receptacle is reverse polarity. And also, uh, we have tested the voltage detector, which is always a very good idea before you get started to make sure that your voltage detector is working properly. It is a very good idea to also test other receptacles that are on the same circuit to see if they're wired correctly. Because there is a situation where the entire circuit or several receptacles in a circuit can be reverse polarity. Okay, now I'm going to turn off the circuit breaker. The circuit breaker is off and our outlet tester is indicating that the circuit breaker is off. But I'm also going to test with my voltage detector and it agrees that the circuit is off. The first thing I'm going to do is remove this wall plate and receptacle. With the receptacle loosened up, I'm going to double check and make sure that there's no hot wires at all in this box. Now let's examine the receptacle. Okay, we have the white neutral wire going to the bronze colored terminal. That's incorrect. You see the hot black wire must go to the short hot terminal side with the bronze colored terminals. And on this side, we have the black hot wire going to the silver terminals, which is the side with the long neutral slot. So this is incorrect. One of the big reasons for reverse polarity receptacles is that over the years, in, in the older houses, the hot wire and the neutral wire both turn gray. And they're really the same color. This is I'm talking about houses from the 50s and 60s and so forth. And it's really difficult to tell just by looking at them. And that's sometimes people just go ahead and guess and they guess wrong and you get a reverse polarity receptacle. So I'm going to show you how to identify uh, which is the hot and which is the neutral. And what I'm going to do, of course the electricity is off, I'm going to put, these are called Wago lever nuts. I'm going to go ahead and, and put them on the ends of the wires for safety and I'm going to temporarily turn on the electricity and I'm going to make a test to determine which is the hot and which is the neutral. 
I have temporarily turned back on the circuit breaker. I've put the woggle lever nuts on all of the wires for safety and I'm using my uh, voltage detector. I'll test all the wires and this is your hot wire right here. So the, the black is the hot. Whenever you're working on a receptacle, it's always a good idea to test and see what kind of voltage you're getting. And here I'm reading 121 volts AC. And I'm using my leads in the ports of the Wago lever nuts. That's a good safe way to do it. I've turned off the circuit breaker and I'm going to do a double check to make sure that everything is off. Now with the circuit breaker off, I am hooking the receptacle back up and I put the green ground wire around the green terminal and I'll tighten it down securely. And this time I'm going to make sure that the white neutral wire goes to the silver terminal. And I'll tighten that down securely. And the black hot wire goes to the bronze terminal. And I'll tighten that one down securely. Now I'll put a couple wraps of black electrician's tape around the receptacle for safety. Dress the wires, that is put the appropriate bands in them to make them go in more easily. Tighten up the receptacle and put on the wall plate. Now I've turned back on the circuit breaker and we're going to test out the receptacle. We see there's two green lights which means correctly wired and we can check out the other outlet of the receptacle and we can check out other receptacles on the circuit as well and we see everything's great. So that's how you fix the dangerous situation of reverse polarity. I'll put links in my video description for the Fluke voltage detector, the Fluke 117 electrician's multimeter, as well as the Fluke alligator clip set and the Fluke soft case. Also, I'll put links for the Wago lever nets in the 2, 3, and 5 connector sizes, as well as the multi-pack. The Milwaukee 3-piece 1,000-volt insulated screwdriver set, which includes the number 1 ECX driver, which fits the Leviton terminals perfectly. I'll put a link for the ideal grounding pigtails and the ideal circuit breaker finder, which includes a transmitter that is an excellent outlet tester, which I used in the video. The receiver and the transmitter together make an excellent circuit breaker finder. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.